Okay, today guys I'm going to show you how to make the Lady Gaga Crystal the Fame glasses. Um, I made them here. They look exactly like the original. As you can see, there's the actual ones and there's mine. They fit my face really well and I'll, I'm going to tell you how to make them. First, if you have a pair of glasses that are the size of your face, like they fit your face really well, then you want to take the pair of glasses and trace them, the outline of them, onto a piece of cardboard. And after that, you'll shape the glasses into the square and the rounded edges that go all the way up to your face, and they come down just before your nose. So you have to make sure that you measure and you you take accurate measurements of your face so they actually look quite like they're actually the real glasses. Now, after you have traced the outline of the glasses and shaped them all out, then you'll want to cut that out and then trace half of a lens like this, like you want to not cut it in half, but trace half of the lens and then take that and cut that out and then put holes in that piece of cardboard, put holes all over it just like how she has them on the actual glasses, there's holes all over here. You want to put holes all over. Uh, I used a hole puncher because they're rounded and it makes it look good. Now, you want to put a whole bunch of holes. I only have about 25 or less, there's probably less than that, but the real glasses don't have the same, but just remember, after you've done that, you then paint that black and paint the background black too. Like paint the whole giant lens black, then paint the small half lens black as well, and put and glue them perfectly on top of each other. Then make sure the same size. That by doing that, you can put them over top of each other and cut. If there's any like excess, you just put that over top and cut it off. And then you you set that on top there and you glue it down. You let that dry and then you paint off anything that's come off or whatever. After you've applied that, you'll want to then do the sides, like the, the things that grip your ear. So you'll want to also trace the, these onto a piece of cardboard as well for length, because if they fit your face fine, then you'll want them to be the same size, right? So after you trace that, then you can also make them bigger so that they don't break under the weight of the crystals, because they do quit, get quite heavy. And you want to also cut out a duplicate of the same one, duplicate of the same thing, and you want to make four of these because you want to paint one pure black and then put a silver one on top with holes. Now, the real glasses only have one layer because they're made of metal. She has holes in them and they don't bend, of course, but these ones have two and they have a back, black background because they do bend. I found out that they did bend and that they snapped off when I was trying to wear them or whatever. So you want to do that. You want to do the same with the other side. Now, only one side has the actual crystals on it, so leave the one side blank with the holes. And if you want to make it accurate, you can look at the design on the actual album and just match the sides to the actual crystals and everything. But on the other side, the crystals go down about just up to the holes. They go up and up the holes and to the whole thing and then they go all over the front and then a little bit past this. Now, if you're going to do the holes, you don't have to do it all over. You'll just have to trace out where you want the crystals to stop, like where you don't want to put anymore, and that's how you'll know. And you can um, then just put the holes there. And you'll have to use a lot of hot glue because sometimes salt on the actual crystals uh, makes them all want to stick, but you can make them stick if you really try. But they're, they don't they don't do that often. They do stick on really easily. Now, sometimes when you're just wearing them, some of them will come off or whatever, but that's okay. You can just re-glue them, and it's no big deal. And now, you have to be careful. I noticed that when I made mine, um, a couple of them I had to make because they got a little bit too heavy and they did not stay on your face. So you'll have to just, if you don't, you can maybe just put it behind your hair if you're a girl or whatever, and it'll keep the lenses from slipping off your face. Now, that's basically how you make the glasses. They look great. They're a great costume. And if you want to go to my website and get the actual instructions in case I didn't explain it good enough for you or whatever, you can go to my website. It'll be posted on the side link there um, in the description. And you'll be able to go to my website, check out how you can make Lady Gaga disco stick, how to make the glasses. You can purchase anything Radio Gordo. I'm Radio Gordo. And if you want to purchase my ringtones or you want to purchase the screensavers and anything like that. We even have stickers for your face, the lightning bolt stickers, and anything else you can think of we have for Radio Gordo. 
So go and check that out. You can even buy my own album. I have an album out. It's called Radio Gordo, The Fortune and Fame. You can go and pick that up in stores, or you can pick it up off my website. It doesn't really matter. And there you have it. That's how you make Lady Gaga crystal glasses.